Hey guys, Clay's here, bringing back an oldie but a goodie on the channel, being how to entry with your favourite pros. Today, we'll be looking at the most aggressive player in CA history, and also probably the first one that'll come to your head, being Art. Even though he isn't the number one entry fragger due to Yakinda just simply being a goat in his role, he comes in third, following Simple, with a 1.04 entry kill rating. In order to replicate or even copy Art's playstyle within the entry frag role, you need to have multiple things. First, you need to have a great mechanical ability, and this is something you'll find across all top level entry fraggers no matter what. Having that first shot accuracy and crosshair placement, an ability to just simply win your duels. Secondly, you'll also need to have great map knowledge of being very familiar with angles across the maps and also very specific entry paths you need to be taking for your team. And finally, last but not least, being an entry fragger just like Art, you need to have some Gorilla Glue to hand and stick it underneath your W key and just go ham. Let's now take a look at this specific round against Outsiders on Vertigo for how Art found the opening kill for Furia in order to get the ball rolling a little bit. As you can see, he is lurking out towards middle here, looking to get space and even a kill for his team. He is making sure to take it very slowly, clearing out every single angle of middle before deciding of where he wants to go. As you can see on the minimap, Art actually has two teammates towards stairs here on B, ready to go when required. As soon as Art gets the kill onto Nobert, this forces Fame to focus him, making him vulnerable to the stair players to pounce and get the trade kill. This right here is a great example of not always needing to be with your team in order to find entries for your team. Now don't get me wrong, it is always better due to the fact you have someone there who can trade you if needed, however it isn't actually required. But if you do this sort of play by yourself in terms of lurky entry style, then I advise you have your team waiting and ready to go off whatever pick you manage to find. Here is a little clip of Art just holding down his W key after getting the kill on towards jungle. I know it's only a half by here, but you still have to respect the confidence from Art to just push like this against a tier 1 team in being G2. In this next round, guys, we'll take a look at, as you can already see, Art is on a MAC-10 and is ready to take those close combat duels. Because he is going in first, he does drop over a flash to his teammate and also attempts to smoke off the Molotov, however, unfortunately misses. However, he is still able to take out Alexi B, who is on balcony, who is flashed by his teammate Keiserato. He manages to upgrade his weapon to an M4, however, he doesn't move from car. He'll Molotov door from market off, however, he'll just sit here and manage to pick off Monacy, who will be now peeking after the Molotov has faded. You could argue in this situation that Art didn't do the correct thing in terms of just sitting at car with the low health and waiting for his team to go clear the rest of the sites out. However, because Art is holding for the push out of Monacy from market, I would say he still did the correct thing in being able to help out his team even with the minimal health he is on. If you go for a fast B play yourself as the entry fragger, you do have multiple options for the pathing that you can take, but also what to do as well after finding the first kill. For example, first of all, if you're coming through B apps, you do have the option to either jump out of window or run towards car. I personally would say if you have a MAC-10, then you should be jumping out of the window in order to get in the enemy's face as much as possible towards short and more so back sight, just allowing to give more space to your team. However, if you have a rifle, let's say like an AK or a Galil, then you can go towards car, taking a duel on towards bench if there is a player there. Another decision later on in the round you need to also make is if you're wanting to take market control or not. Now if you jump out of window of a MAC-10 as I just explained and manage to pick off the anchor B player in quick time then I actually suggest it would be a good idea to get yourself in towards market in order to just simply lock out the rotation from the CT side. You have many different options of every single site and every single map within CS so it really does come down to how you prefer to play it and what type of entry fragger you are. When it comes to being an entry fragger and just simply being a great player in this role like Art is, there are some things you need to have that I briefly spoke about earlier on in this video. These are game and map knowledge, great mechanics, and also maybe the most important out of all of these, being confident in your ability to entry frag. You also need to be making the best decisions for your team in terms of when you should be looking for a pick and also when you shouldn't be, as you can really make or break a round for you and your team. 
Art has mastered entry fragging over the six years he has been an active player, having gained an incredible amount of experience playing against top level teams. The best advice I can give to you guys in order to become the best entry fragger you possibly can be is just through experience of being in these situations like where you are forced to find an entry and also create space for your team. Over time, you will gain a greater understanding of what is required from you while doing this role, allowing for you to become a dangerous player for the enemy team to be playing against in matches. Thank you so much for watching the video guys, I hope you enjoyed it very much. Please leave a like if you did and also subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss out on any future videos here on the channel. Until next time guys, it's been Glaze and I'll speak to you very very soon.